Hey guys, it's Dima from Demostech. Today I am about to show you something that uh, Google uh, released, I don't know, about more than a month ago, but nobody really noticed it. Uh, it's not that, I would say actually it is useful, uh, but uh, it's still in uh, beta stages, although it, as far as I've tested it, it works perfectly. Now, basically, uh, what they released is an extension for your Google Chrome browser, uh, which uh, allows you to share links between uh, computers around you based on uh, voice. It uses voice, so uh, what happens, uh, you just browse to the link that you want, to, for example, my website, as I'll show you an example in a moment, and then you press a button uh, of the extension. Uh, you'll hear some pretty neat noise, I would say, for a moment. Uh, it takes about, I don't know, three seconds or so, maybe less. And uh, on all the other computers that are around you, that have that extension uh, installed, uh, you'll see a little bit pop-up uh, with, uh, first of all, your user, that's actually cool, the user of the one who shared this, and the link that it shares. Well, the moment you press on it, it will just open the link and that's it. So um, you can easily share a, a link with people around you. For example, if you're in a conference and you want to show all the members of the conference uh, some sort of a link or give them, uh, I don't know, a link for to fill a form or whatever to register something, you basically can share it just uh, by hitting that uh, tone button and in a few seconds uh, everyone will be able to open it and that's it. So uh, let's go ahead and I'll give you an example of that. Okay, so here we go. Now on the left you can see my uh, PC, my big screen, my Dell screen uh, of my computer which already loaded up uh, my website and on the right side you can see my laptop which has uh, just a new tab open. Uh, keep a note that uh, whenever you press that uh, tone to open the received uh, site it will open a new tab so uh, if you are already surfing some site that you don't want to close uh, don't worry it will open a new tab. Now um, on the extensions uh, place uh, at the top uh, right uh, you will see a new extension after you install it, but uh, if you hover it, it will show you broadcast this URL. Now, uh, I'll press and uh, you'll see what happens. Please note that uh, weird, I would call, uh, sound that the extension makes. Here it is. So as you can see on the laptop, you can just click on the hovered uh, notification and here it is, it loaded the same page on the other computer as well. Uh, it works both directions, so for example if I'll enter, I don't know, let's, uh, let's go to Engadget on my laptop. So yeah, I'm uh, on Engadget on my laptop and I'll press the extension and see what happens. And here you go, it's on my uh, computer. So uh, basically it works uh, pretty much well, uh, although I had some bugs already that it didn't want to work for some reason. Reboot uh, fixed that. Anyway, um, you don't have to be on the same network or anything, you just have to be close enough so all the computers can hear each other. Uh, yeah, they actually pretty much talk to each other with um, uh, high frequency sounds or whatever. Uh, basically you hear that uh, weird sound, uh, it's not the real sound that sends the website. The real sound is in that same moment uh, in the background that you cannot really hear. Uh, if you put your ears pretty much close to the speakers you will hear some weird noise. Uh, you know those uh, apps uh, that you can find on for your phone that uh, repel mosquitoes and such on high frequency, so basically those are the sounds that uh, it uses, uh, but uh, it translates uh, and sends uh, the website. Uh, now, uh, if I remember correctly, there was some sort of uh, same technique uh, used for uh, the Chromecast in order to uh, 
log in with your Wi-Fi or uh, let a guest control your Chromecast. I don't really remember since I don't have a Chromecast so I can't check that out. But uh, there was something with uh, the same technology used with uh, the TV. So uh, basically, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, as you can see, let me just show you one more time. Again, my website. And here it is on the laptop. And that's it. It will uh, open in a moment. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Uh, dislike if you didn't. And subscribe. Don't forget to check uh, in the subscription settings uh, the V to receive uh, future videos, future updates. And that's it for today's. See you next time. Okay, so what is a DNS? So in my last uh, video, I explained what is an IP address, and that you need an IP address.